Hi my fashion minions. Today I want to do a foundation review of three different foundations. Um, I want to start with the Clinique Even Better. It's in the color Ivory Number no. Three, which is my color. Uh, I've had I've used this foundation for over a year for sure. Um, this is like my second or third bottle. It has a medium to full coverage. Um, as far as it being buildable, I haven't really, like, usually I'll just put it on with a brush, a stippling brush, and then put powder over it, and that'll last me, like, the majority of the day. So, I mean, it's really, it's a good coverage for a foundation as far as that goes. And it's got the SPF 15 in it, so it's good for your skin. Um, this one I have is the Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Makeup. Um, the thing I didn't like about this one, it kind of has a smell to it. It's not really strong, but it is noticeable when you're putting it on. Um, it doesn't, when it dries, you don't smell anything. Um, as far as it being like a matte foundation, it does what it says. It's definitely a stay matte. I don't put any powder on with it, and my skin, um, for example, I'm wearing it right now, so my skin doesn't really get oily, like, because I tend to have a little bit oily skin, especially during the summertime, so I was looking for a matte foundation, and I did like this one. I got it in 9 Neutral, thinking I would get a tan, and I never did, so I probably need to get it in a different color, but that's okay. Alright, and the next one I have is the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. This is a newer one that came out um, towards the middle of the summer. I used it for about two weeks, something like that. I feel like it doesn't do anything. It's kind of like one step up from a tinted moisturizer. It has a little bit of coverage, but not to wear it's comfortable for me like I'll use it if I'm hurrying up trying to run out the door don't really feel like putting a lot of makeup on that sort of thing and and it claims to do all these things like blurs imperfections no because it's not full enough coverage it's way too light of a coverage to do that it doesn't enhance <laughs> and I don't think it brightens in any way um, adjust the skin tone. It did do that. Um, I got the light medium. So there's like a light, a light medium, and a dark or something like that. Or there might be four colors, but it, it matched my skin tone almost perfectly. So it does that. Smooths. I don't know about that. <laughs> Hydrates. Yes, because it's because it's kind of like a moisturizer. It's it's light enough. To moisturize so yes and it has SPF 30 um, it says zero oils or other heavy ingredients like I said I get really oily during the summer so I don't know I don't know if it really has no oils at all because I get oily so I don't know but as far as my favorite one goes I would definitely have to say the Clinique even better because it's good for your skin, it's really good coverage, doesn't have any like weird smells or anything like that. This one's probably my favorite still. Um, so that's my review on Clinique. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, link it down below and have a great day. Bye.